everyone, I'm Anna He and I'm a cosplayer, a fashion designer, and a pattern maker. I love sewing. I especially love making costumes with a fantasy and historic inspiration. For my Crimson Peak cosplay, I ran into a unique opportunity to create my own bobbin lace with a rub collar. I want to show you my process and maybe it will help you in your Victorian costuming journey. I already have a freestanding lace embroidery design with a snowflake motif. It is perfect for my use. I will extract it by using the Fav Premier Plus 2 Ultra program. This will create a shorter segment that can be sewn together forming a long strip of lace for the collar. For more infos on how to make a freestanding lace, please check out my other tutorials. In this tutorial, I will focus on editing the embroidery design and assembling the lace. Here we go. Go to File Open and load the file. In the Home tab, click on Select All Visible. Click and drag on the corner handles to rotate the design. My intention is to remove all unnecessary portion of the lace design and only keep the snowflake with a little bit of mesh stitch. Then, click box select and select the portion I want to eliminate. Press the delete key. Repeat and select and delete until you have eliminated all portions of unwanted design. Click on Select Stitches and clean up any single straggler stitches left on the screen. Repeat until all the unwanted parts are removed. Now we will fill in the missing parts. Drag the stitch progress bar on the bottom to isolate the mesh stitches I do want to duplicate. Then click box select and select the portion I want to duplicate. Click on duplicate. Then. Drag the selection to move it away from the original design. Now, drag the progress bar to the right to show the whole design again. Then, click box select and select the portion I want to move. Click on the top edge triangle to flip and corner point to rotate and fine tune the stitches into the orientation as necessary. Select and delete any stitches I don't need and move the selection into place. The best practice is to always optimize the stitches and reduce the stitch density to light. The last step is to change everything into monochrome color red. Now you can save and done! With the embroidery segment stitch out, I'm going to join them. I'm leaving the embroidery on the water-soluble stabilizer with the edges pinned together. And then, I'm using a narrow zigzag stitch to connect the laces together. Double check to make sure the edge is securely caught in the stitching.
Once all segments are joined, I can submerge the whole length in water to dissolve the stabilizer. The dissolved stabilizer also adds some stiffness to the lace itself, giving it the body I need for the collar. Now, I have about 5 yards of the lace, which will be beaded and pleated into making my rough collar.